are a company specialized in gold, metal, and water detectors product. Uh, many customers have been asking about the difference between Gold Monster and GMT 9000. So that we decided to make a little experiment to show the difference between the two devices and the sensitivity of each device and which is better. First of all, we will talk about the Gold Monster contents and accessories. As you can see, it, it has the device handle, the main unit, two batteries, the device stick, car charger, home charger, headphone, and a digging tool. Two coils comes with the device. First of all, the one with the five inch size and the 10 inch size, along with two manuals, one in Arabic and one in English. All these accessories comes in this carton. And now we will talk about the GMT 9000 and all of its accessories. First of all, we have the main unit, two different batteries. One is rechargeable and the other is a replaceable AA batteries. Car charger, headphone, and two different coils. As you can see, this coil is six inch. It's bigger than the one in the Gold Monster, which is five inch. 10 inch coil, a home charger, gloves, and a digging tool, along with a device manual and the factory brochure. And as you can see, all of these accessories contains in this carton. Now we will make an experiment between the Gold Monster 1000 and the GMT 9000 with a small piece of gold nugget. Let's see which device can get the highest depth. As you can see, we are working on a small coil, the 5 inch coil, and we will see now the maximum that, that it can get on the small piece of gold nugget. As you can see, it's about 10, 11 centimeters. Now let's work on the biggest uh, coil, the 10 inch coil, and we will see the depth that it can get. Now we will test the same small gold nugget on the uh, 10 inch coil and see what, what depth it can get. As you can see, it's around like 15, 16 centimeters. Now let's see the GMT 9000 depth and what depth it can get. Now we will make the same exact test with the same small gold nugget on the GMT 9000, the 6 inch coil. As you can see, it's on the 18, 19 centimeters. Now we will make the same exact test on the 10 inch coil. As you can see, the maximum depth we are getting around 22-23 centimeters. So, as a conclusion, after the test that we made on the two devices, we saw exactly that the GMT 9000 coils, the 10 inch and the 6 inch, are getting more depth than the Gold Monster 1000 coils. Now we will make a different type of test on the two devices between Gold Monster 1000 and the GMT 9000 to see the differentiation of the discrimination system between the two devices we will be working on with an iron rod and some gold piece. And now we will be using the gold. As you can see, uh, the device detects the two objects in the same sound. There is no discrimination in Gold Monster 1000. Now let's see the discrimination in the GMT 9000. Now we will be doing the same exact test we did on the Gold Monster 1000 using the same exact metal objects. We will be starting with the gold. And now let's see the iron rod. As you can see, it's not being detected at all. This system, this discrimination system is not available in the Gold Monster 1000, which is available in the GMT 9000. As a conclusion, we concluded that after the test that being made on the two devices, we concluded that the Gold Monster 
depth is lower than the GMT depth. And as for the discrimination system, Gold Monster has zero discrimination, uh, while the GMT 9000 has the ability to discriminate iron as we saw in the earlier test. So in that case, as a conclusion, GMT is much better than Gold Monster 1000.